Hey there, thanks so much for tuning in today to Today with Dana Shay's Relationship Q&A. Today's question comes from Joel in Bear, Delaware, and Joel writes, Dear Dana, I go to school with a girl I really like. Actually, I've liked her since we were in middle school, but I don't think she likes me. Not like that anyway. I made the stupid mistake of telling one of her friends that I like her, and now she won't talk to me. She gives me these weird looks. What should I do? I really want to tell her how I feel, but I don't want to get the reject sticker either. Joel and Bear Delaware. First of all, Joel, I just want to thank you for writing in. I normally don't get questions from guys, so whenever I do, that is always a welcome bonus. And, you know, I just want to encourage you that girls like to be pursued. Now, not in a weird stalkery kind of way, okay? But we want to be pursued. We want to know that you're interested enough in us to actually put yourself out there and to take a chance and pursue us. You know, something else I want to tell you, Joel, is that you need to just develop some courage here. If you really like this girl, you're going to have to make a decision whether you're going to be courageous and go after her or if you're going to sit on, uh, on the sidelines and not take a risk. You know, taking a risk and having courage doesn't mean that you're not going to feel any fear. As a matter of fact, it's quite the contrary. The word courage is not about an absence of fear. It's actually about taking a risk in spite of the fear that you feel right now. So I would encourage you to be courageous and to actually pursue her. Because if you don't, you're always gonna wonder what would have been if you only would have had the courage to pursue her. You know, I know that you said you made a stupid decision and you told her friend and, you know, God knows what her friend told her. If she just told her what you said or if she added a few little details. But you know what, regardless, one of the best ways to kind of break the ice and kind of settle the score a little bit is to use some humor. So when you go up to your girl, you know, or your soon-to-be girl, you know, just acknowledge the fact that you may have said something to her friend. You're not really sure, you know, exactly what her friend said to you. You can be creative with that. Find a humorous way to kind of break the ice so that you're not so nervous and, you know, in a tizzy about this conversation that you need to have with her. You never know. She actually might like you and maybe her friend telling her that you like her. Maybe she's now the one that's fearful, like, oh, is he going to say something to me? Because maybe she really likes you. I don't know, but in any case, you won't know until you actually give it a try, take a risk, and approach her. The last thing that I want to tell you is, you know, do not allow her response to penetrate your heart either way. You know, there's a, a scripture that says, guard your heart for it affects every area of your life. Now, what does that mean? That means that if she rejects you and if she's not interested, if you allow that to penetrate your heart, then that can affect you in every other relationship. You can become someone that develops low self-esteem. You're always second guessing yourself. You're not gonna take risks because, you know, look what happened the last time. And if she accepts you, then you can begin to feel your self-worth contingent upon her acceptance and approval of you. So don't do either. Regardless of whether she says yes or no, I hope you understand that you are someone who is worthy, you are worth a good relationship, and you are gonna be a great catch to someone, whether it be this girl or whether it be in another relationship. So Joel, I hope that I have helped you today. Write me back and let me know what happened. I sure appreciate that. And you know what? I know that your question is going to touch so many people's lives because guess what? We've all been through a similar situation. We've all second guessed ourselves. We've all liked someone and been a little afraid of what that person thinks about us. You know, or maybe we're not in a relationship, but maybe it's a job. You know, we're, we're looking at a job that we're really interested in, but we're afraid to apply because we don't, been, we don't want to be rejected. So I think that your question actually affects affects many of us in many different ways. So I appreciate you for writing in to me today. And I want to encourage you all out there, if you have a relationship question that you want some help with, you want some relationship advice, be sure to write me at Q&A at DanaShea.com. And I will see you all on the next video. Take care. Bye.